welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Roz. And today I have an exciting video for you all today. I have three handbag reveals and one little something something from Chanel 24P, which is not a handbag. However, just as equally beautiful and fun to look at and appreciate. Without further ado, let's get started with this video. So the first bag that I want to show you is from a company called Ben Bien. They're located in Brooklyn, New York, so very local to the United States um, if you were interested in this bag. They are a smaller company if I hadn't mentioned that before. And the reason why I stumbled upon this company was because I guess I was Google searching uh, Bottega Veneta alternative bags um, just because I was interested in the weaving pattern but I wasn't interested in spending three to four thousand dollars on a bag that I wasn't super confident in buying because I didn't want to break the bank and if I didn't end up liking it then I would have to sell it and it doesn't seem like Bottega Veneta retains their value so I just didn't want to waste that money or lose money in that sense so again I was Google searching and then through that Google search you know how technology and internet works I was on Instagram and on Instagram ads this company showed up and it sold me. So this is called the Small Marnie Bag in black. And I got this obviously because of the weaving pattern that I was interested in. Um, and it was a shoulder bag. If I hadn't mentioned already in my last two videos, I'm looking for a mom bag. A mom shoulder bag that is not a diaper bag that I could just chuck all of my crap in and maybe some baby stuff that won't necessarily have to go into a diaper bag. I was looking into large shoulder bags and I found this one. They do have a larger version. I initially wanted the larger one but I'm an impatient person and the large bag in black was on pre-order and I did it didn't have a date of when it was going to be released so I just went ahead and got the small one just to test it out. Also price point was cheaper obviously because it's smaller um, and so I thought it was a good thing to try out. They use real leather, it's not faux leather or vegan leather so it doesn't feel plasticky, it doesn't smell like the fish, I say fish smell but you know the fake plasticky fish smell. I will say though that it is not buttery soft, it is still stiff, maybe it's because I've only used it for like two days but so far it's faring well. I mean there's no wear on it yet, obviously, because I haven't used it that often. Inside is pretty spacious for it being a smaller bag. It's just lined in cloth, and there is one, I don't know if you can see it, but there is one big pouch right here that you can fit a good amount of stuff in as well. The one thing that I will say that I don't enjoy about this bag right now is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's like some, not cracking, but like wrinkling, yeah, you can see it. So there's like some wrinkling on it. Maybe that's just how softer leather... I don't know if bags are supposed to do this, but we'll see. I mean, it doesn't bother me too much, be also because it's on the bottom of the bag, but if after a month or two this starts becoming a problem, then I might have an issue with it. Um, this bag retails for, I believe, $220 or $240. I'll have all of the description down below in the uh, description box if you're interested, but I mean it's pretty affordable. It's not three to four grand, so I think $220 to $240 is a steal for real leather. Um, zipper is really smooth. I don't have to fuss. The opening is really big, so that's really nice. If I end up liking this and this doesn't end up becoming a problem, I might not even get the Jody. I might just get the larger version of this after it's off of pre-order because it's a nice silhouette. Um, it stands on its own. I know the Jody doesn't. And I mean, it's just at a cheaper price point for nice quality leather, so why not, right? The next two bags are from Loewe and I am absolutely smitten with it. I'm gonna show you the smaller bag first and then I'll show you the bigger one. So the smaller one is the <laughs> the bracelet pouch in dusty blue with silver hardware and I know I know I said I'm a gold hardware girly and I still am through and through however maybe it's because of my age but I'm kind of into the um, mixing metals but also there are some bags that just look better in silver like if this in this blue color came with gold hardware I don't think I would have liked it as much and so I'm okay with the silver. Um, this is also replacing the 
two nano speedies that I brought up in my luxury Valentine's Day wish list because I mean just look at how adorable this is it's so like it is so soft also the price point of this this is much bigger than the nano both of the nano speedies and I believe those two nano speedies that I mentioned before it was like it started at $2,500 this was $1,450 obviously with like plus tax and I think that price point is just a lot better for it to fit so many other things in it. Um, granted, it is a very floppy bag. I guess that's the one con, but you can wear this so many different ways. Um, obviously, there's a clasp right here. You can wear it as the bracelet pouch. I don't think I would ever wear the bag like this because I think it just looks odd on me. I'm not a, really a fan <laughs> of that exactly i'll probably just wear it this is the strap that comes with it as a shoulder bag even the crossbody wasn't bad however i'm gonna i'm ten thousand percent sure that i'm gonna buy the donut chain accessory strap in silver to just wear it as a shoulder bag because like like look at this this is this is the perfect blue color for my to represent my baby boy and I don't have buyer's remorse. I'm honestly so happy with this purchase that I'm not even thinking about the Nano Speedies anymore. And that's saying a lot because I'm obsessed with the Nano Speedies. The last bag I want to show you is a special little number. Um, Maggie Chu and Minnie from Minx For All definitely sold me on this bag. Um, I was in between this bag and the Chanel 22. That should give you a hint on what it is. <laughs> Is so obsessed with this bag it's crazy it is the small flamenco clutch in the angora color i was gonna also get this in black but i already got one so i got it in this color i actually wanted it in like the the taupey i think it's called desert clay or desert something like a brown tone warm tone color but um some <laughs> somebody called me out on my handbag collection video saying have you noticed that the only bags you ask for recommendations on what to wear it with are all warm tone bags? Maybe you should reevaluate your collection. And I was like, hmm, you're completely right. Maybe I should reevaluate warm tone bags because I really don't know how to pair them with my clothes. I'm sure they look good with everything, but for me, I'm just, fashion is a newer thing for me. I just, I was always like a sweater and leggings type of girl, so it's it's a little bit harder. I'm, I don't have the fashion brain. I just like bags, but I don't know how to pair them with stuff, so that that's an, a personal problem. Also, first world problems. Anyway, so I got it in this Angora color because it's in a cool tone color, cool tone white, and I can pair it with essentially everything that I have in my wardrobe. It's a clutch, it'll, or it's a pouch, so it'll cinch up like this. I probably won't wear it like this because it looks kind of weird like that. I'm probably just going to wear it like this or like a little bit cinched in as a clutch. Or it comes with a strap. You can wear it as a long shoulder bag or you can, um, they have little hole adjustments. I could wear it crossbody. Probably won't wear it crossbody because I don't know what it is. I'm just not into crossbody bags right now. However, this is a newer strap. So this is a newer model of their flamenco clutch in the small size. They used to have like the, the thinner straps um, where you have to like, they didn't have the little lobster claws. They had these buttons that you would have to like loop through the, anyway. I prefer the other strap better because I think it's cuter, but I'm not mad about the thicker strap because I know the thicker strap could be more comfortable when if you have too many things in the bag. Again, I said I wasn't going to use that strap because I got overly excited when I saw this chain. That's why I'm going to get it in silver. The gold donut chain strap. I mean, look at this. I don't know if it's like the weight of it too. I will say them for a chain and it's quite expensive. This was $450 and I don't know if it's quite worth it yet, but I'll let you know. So the way that I'm going to wear this bag is obviously as a shoulder bag with this chain because I'm obsessed. But before y'all come for me, I'm going to wear this strap with like my other bags that have straps that come off the bags because why freaking not? I mean, look at this. Maybe I'm the only one that thinks 
that this looks cute but I think it just really and then if you want to go out you can just let it loose like this and just wear it as a clutch I'm super super excited about this and I'm so glad that I got this over the Chanel 22 because I went in stores looked at the Chanel 22 still can't get over how plasticky the leather feels and it's literally double the price of this this was $2,600 whereas the small Chanel 22 is like I believe it's like 5,000 it starts at 5,002 or 300 so I don't know if that's worth the price point for me. Again, I n never say never because I might get it, but this is a good number to test that kind of like saggy, clutchy style in. Also, the Loewe's leather is its so nice and it's so soft. These two bags are the first two in my Loewe collection, so I'm actually really excited to see what all this has in store for me because who knows? I might I might add more Loewe bags to my collection if the right bag comes out. Last item is from Chanel 24P. Again, it's not a bag. It is a... Chanel likes to call it a stole. I like to call it a scarf or a shawl. It's in this beautiful beige color. You know, my color tones. I know I said I'm not super into fashion, but I am super into like thin scarves, thin shawls, stoles like this because I could just wear whatever underneath and then put this over it and it'll look like, you know, it'll look like I tried. I'm just really lazy when it comes to fashion, but this was actually pretty nice. This is my first Chanel stole, so we'll see how it fares out. It The material seems quite thin. I'm not confident, super confident in how this is going to wear, but... Who knows, maybe it'll surprise me. This is from Chanel 24P. I really, really enjoy this color. If you haven't noticed, I'm just a neutral tone type of girl. So yeah. All right, so that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed everything I had to show you. Um, if you have comments or questions about the bags, please put them down in the comment section down below. If you also have video requests, comment down below because I will be more than happy <laughs> to not be able to think of video ideas. Um, you know, it's just easier if you guys tell me what you want to see so that way, you know, we'll have more engagement and whatever. But yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, again, go ahead and ask me whatever you want, as long as it's not offensive. I'll probably still answer it if it's offensive. I don't know. It might be a sassy remark. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know I said that I was going to post once a week. That's probably not going to happen because um, I was really sick last week and I just could not post or film. Um, I'm gonna try to just do it every other week like I've been doing thus far, so yeah. Alright, well that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!